So here we are today once again talking about the 300.9D VPS. VPS standing for Versatile Power System. Now you may have seen video part one. That was showing us bringing the machine off the trailer uh, into the shop in order to do some work. At that point we didn't have electricity hooked up and we didn't actually run the machine. We just showed you how to set it up. Today we're actually going to go all the way to the end, plug the machine in and actually operate the machine here indoors. Yes, indoors, because this is zero emissions. We can run this machine on electricity. Three phase, 480 volt. Or we can run it on diesel. The machine is still fitted with a diesel engine. Or we can swap over and run on our hydraulic power unit, our HPU 300 right beside me. The HPU unit fits through a 30 inch doorway, seven foot tall. The machine itself also fits through that same 30 inch doorway. The machine actually carries the HPU unit with it to get inside. Once you're inside the building, you hook the machine up via the hydraulic lines. You'll see the uh, hydraulic lines here that we showed you in the first video of how to hook it up. We've already hooked it up in this case. That is 12 meters, 40 foot of hydraulic line. So the machine works within that 40 foot of your HPU unit. In a moment, we're actually gonna drive the machine around here and you'll just see how it works. This machine is also fitted with an H25 hammer, a 100 pound foot force hammer. Does great working indoors, internal demolition. Primarily, this machine working indoors will have a hammer on it. Now with the HPU unit, we do need to supply electricity to it via a generator, or in this case, we're in a building with has air conditioning. Uh, the air conditioning runs on 480 volt three phase. So we can actually go ahead and uh, plug into that system. Uh, the unit comes with a plug, which you hook onto your cable, hook into the machine, and then the other end you take to your power source. Like I say, it can be a generator, uh, doing three phase 480 volt, or in this case, we're actually gonna just plug into an industrial socket here in the building, providing that same power requirement. Now the power supply to the unit can be whatever it needs to be to get power to it. The hydraulic hoses though, they stay at that length. Around on this side of the machine, you got your controls, you got your master uh, on, off, and your trip. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. We do have an emergency stop button on here, and then we have the green button to start it going. Okay, three points of contact up into the machine. Safety glasses, bins. we have a hammer on this machine, and of course, our retractable seat belt. Now this is when things start to turn a little bit different. We have the hydraulic motor running. I do not need to turn the key on. I just need to put down my safety brace and the machine is live and working as you can see. Now this machine will still work with the same capability on electricity as it would if it was working in diesel. Now I've got a couple of blocks of wood down here just to show you how well this hammer works. But you'll hear the force of the hammer as I go ahead and load it up. Works extremely and very effective. Now even though we're still connected to the HPU unit with our hydraulic umbilical cord, we can still drive the unit around as we have a guide bar on the back. That allows us to get the machine out, move it around. As long as we stay within our 40 foot, 12 meters, we can operate all the way around the HPU unit. So I'll go ahead and lift the blade up, put ourselves into a travel position here. And you'll see that I can drive the machine and the cord, hydraulic cord will just follow us as we go around. And what we can also do, uh, bands were below the swivel there, I can actually swing all the way around 360 degrees without interfering as well. Once again, the whole time I am running on electricity. So working within our range, keeping the hose away from the undercarriage. 
being able to travel the machine. Okay, so that was just a quick overview of our 300.9D VPS versatile power system. To actually show you the machine in operation, showing you how it's working, how we're moving the machine around, connected to the HPU unit with the hydraulic power cord. Remember to check out part one of this video, which is showing you how to set the machine up. And for further information, contact your local CAT dealer.